Hey guys, welcome to the Lunch Time Review. Today I'm going to try this Montana's um, or Ted's Montana Grill. Um, I've already pre-ordered, and I'm just going to go in and go pick it up, and I'll tell you what I got when I get back. All right, so this is what I ordered. First of all, you get pickles. I got a whole thing of pickles uh, if I want the pickles. Um, I got the bacon cheeseburger, which is the um, the bison burger. You can also get beef, but I got bison, um, so you can see it's got plenty of. I got it with. Uh, um, just cheddar cheese and then I got a 50 50 fries onion rings so that's the 50 50 fries onions in rings and then I got uh, tomato pickles for the burger and then um, looks like shredded lettuce and the burger comes with bacon cheese and like these uh, sauteed onions I could have got other things too um, but I just, that's what I picked so anyway I'm going to turn around I'll tell you uh, what the cost was and everything and I'll be right back okay so it costs the cost is $17 that was for the bison bur bacon burger bacon cheeseburger with the onion rings and fries, or could have just gotten fries or just could have gotten onion rings. Anyway, that was the cost for the meal. Um, didn't come with a drink. That was just the burger and the, and the side. Um, a dollar two Kentucky sales tax on so my total was 1802. You can leave a ta uh, tip, not leave a tip, whatever you feel personally um, drawn to do. So you do whatever you want to do. Um, I wanted to try the onion rings because they look really, really good. Good and crispy onion rings. Um, I generally don't eat these with ketchup, but it depends on what their flavor's like. That has a really good flavor, and they're good and crispy, um, but the flavor is really, really good. You get that good onion flavor, but the um, the breading's good and crisp. So that's really good. So it looks like when you get 50-50, you get three, three onion rings. Three onion rings and um, I can't tell if that's a but I think it's a potato and a potato, um, and then you get like a handful of fries. So the onion rings are good. I like the onion rings. Let me try the fries. The fries are look like they're seasoned with the skin on. Not bad. They remind you of um, um, the steak fries. That's all they are. They're not. They have salt and pepper on them. I can see the salt and pepper, but they don't really have a strong salt and pepper flavor. They're good. They're good. They're good and crisp, which is a good part. They're very potatoey. I'm gonna try the skin. <laughs> that was good. Um, if only all of them were like that, that would be really good. Um, just give me the potato skins. That would that'd be excellent. Uh, I really like that. The The fries are good. They're, they are very um, potato-y, though. So if you don't like a very strong potato-flavored french fry, you may just want to get the onion rings. The onion rings, like I said, are really good. Okay, so for the burger, I'm going to try to... It looks like it slipped a little bit. Okay, again, this is the bison burger. And I have had bison burger a, a long time ago, but it's been ages and ages ago. Um, you can also get ketchup, mustard, or mayo. I got mayo. It's in a. They gave me a bowl of packages. Um, I don't know why they didn't just throw the packages in there, but anyway, they gave me some mayo um, in the squeeze packages. I'm not putting them on here yet. I just want to taste it just like it is. Um, I'm just gonna go in right here. Good flavor. Um, it definitely tastes different than like a traditional hamburger. Um, the bison has a, I don't know, it has a, it's denser, first of all. It's a denser, um, I don't think it has as much fat as a hamburger, a regular beef patty does. Yeah, that's really the biggest difference is it doesn't have the the fat in it. Flavor wise, it's a it's a rich flavor, um, if that makes any sense at all. It doesn't taste gamey though, because sometimes if you feel like a venison or something like that, it's very gamey. 
Um, this is not like that. It's not that strong. It, it reminds you of beef, just a little different flavor of beef. So I think the burger is really good. Is it worth the money? I don't know. It's kind of a small burger. And I hate to say it, but I think I'd rather have a regular beef burger because this one's just a touch dry. And I don't think it has anything to do with how they cooked it. It's just, I think that's how bison is. It's just a little drier. Um, burger, I think everything, the flavor-wise, the fries are just okay. But the, the onion rings and the burger has got a good flavor to it. I would give them both like a four out of five. Um, but I think I'd rather just get a beef burger, honestly, and not spend the extra money. Because um, $17 for this that's expensive uh, for what it is. So I think the beef burger is a little bit cheaper there. It's not a lot, it's still expensive, but it's not um, $17 expensive. It's more like $15 expensive. So you are paying a premium price for the uh, bison. I don't know that it's worth it, honestly. It's good, but it's not that much better. So, um, so yeah, I think a four out of five is a fair uh, review for these. So hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. All right, so I didn't try the pickles. I got a whole bowl of them. You should probably know what they taste like, huh? Briny, but not super vinegary. Um, it really still has a really strong cucumber flavor. They're crisp. I'd much rather have a dill pickle, though. Anyway.